All right, everybody. So the other day, I had the pleasure of talking about some good news that came out of the red pill sphere, which is the re-arresting of the Tate brothers, both of them, under the grounds of A, the multiple accusations of uh, sexual abuse from several women back in the UK. This is separate from the many Romanian women who have charged him with this in Romania. Uh, Britain has asked to have him extradited so that he can, uh, you know, serve his, you know, get his charges there, go to court, and do his time there as well. Andrew Tate has now multiple nations stacking on him with criminal charges now. Um, all of them sort of like working together to make sure that he is transported between them and is able to meet his court dates and, uh, you know, serve as much time as he deserves to serve. It really is just the best ending we could hope for uh, to all of this is what we're kind of heading towards at this point. But why were the Tate brothers arrested specifically the other day was the question many were asking. That was until the investigators gave their reason for why they implored the Romanian officials to uh, jail the Tate brothers and arrest them and ca like so quickly. And it is because Aiden Ross, as it turns out, in an attempt to try to brag about how close he is with Andrew Tate, the guy whose chair he likes to sniff, and I mean that literally, he's not just, I'm not saying like, oh, he's an Andrew Tate chair sniffer is like an insult. Look up Andrew Tate, or sorry, Aiden Ross sniffs Andrew Tate's chair. The video is there, it's real. It's, I'm not joking, I'm referencing a thing that happened. I guess he didn't know that it was live streaming or recording. I, I, he, he seems to think, I don't even know. A very bizarre moment that was. Regardless, Aiden Ross, very weird guy, uh, ended up dropping a story about a conversation he had with Andrew Tate to try to make himself sound cool. In doing so, though, he accidentally, I don't even know if it was, that, well, it wasn't even accidental. He intentionally, I guess being too dumb to realize he shouldn't say this, let slip that the Tate brothers are planning to leave Romania, something that is illegal for them to do, uh, it, very soon. And that uh, he needs to come over and make content with Andrew Tate right then and there, or it would be their last chance to make content together. This, of course, was all the evidence that was needed for the Romanian officials to view Andrew Tate as an obvious flight risk, something that he has spent a long time trying to dissuade the officials of believing, down to getting to the point where he's been on house arrest. Now he's back to being detained. I don't know if he's been let go of detainment since last time I covered the situation, but, uh... We'll see what happens. It seems they believe he's a flight risk again. And he is. He does want to leave. He literally lied and faked cancer to try and get sent to Dubai where they wouldn't extradite him and he could go back to his normal life and sex trafficking and all, all the stuff that he likes to do um, because he said his doctor was in Dubai. That got called out and fell apart pretty quick. He didn't get away with that. But... Aiden Ross, for some reason, put out a video clip of his reaction to finding out that he was the one who got Andrew Tate arrested, or both Tate brothers arrested, because of his loud, huge mouth. I, I genuinely think Aiden Ross might be dumber than Sneeko. He is actually the lowest of the low in regards to the, the brain function of the red pill sphere. And I... Literally, yes. I am going to take accountability. Dup. Okay, I really up. And Andrew Tate's team confirmed that up. And Tate told me, right? Up. And thank God. Gee, uh, okay, if you're going to have to censor every swear word in a video like this, maybe make an effort not to swear every other word so every other word isn't just a cutout bit of dead air. Jeez. There's a difference between having to, I guess maybe this might stop after the first minute if the editors know what they're doing, but I worry this will be the whole video and it's going to be unintelligible. I'd, he did not get put back in there because I would have felt really guilty. Tate had spoke to me and he said, dude, just come to Romania. I want to give my, my people and your people what they want to see. Let's do some content. You're okay and I forgive you because I apologize. I felt bad, bro. Like really bad. Um, 
And I really, really feel bad about that. And I'm sorry. I honestly did not mean for that to happen. There, my motive and my reason speaking. But I feel like I should move the camera down a little bit so you guys can see the chat. The chat is obviously moving extremely fast for the reason of, and I, it's kind of blurred, but you can see it moving very quickly in a sec. Um, most of the like chat of these kick streamers, like Aiden Ross, Sneeko, and even Andrew Tate, most of their chat, the reason why they just spam W or L isn't because those are the only things they can say, otherwise their brain will overheat. It's because most of them are bots, a lot of these content creators, most of their engagement on these platforms is botted, especially in their chats. Uh, the best piece of evidence for that is looking at every other post on every other platform besides the one they stream on. The engagement just doesn't match up. Hell, the viewers, the views on the posts don't match up with how many people engage with whatever platform they stream on. It's very obvious botting. Thinking about location <clears throat> was because I didn't want to get swatted. So I basically, which is really stupid. I, 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 I up and I'm sorry. Um, what did I do? I basically, I'll, I'll show you the clip. This is what I did. Can I get the, the clip, please? And Aiden updates, of course you. Of course you me. And you're so weird, Mr. Rebel on God. But, but like, of course. Where's the actual clip? Where's the clip? Where is the clip? I always ask myself, like, who watches this shit? But then I remember, not that many people, most of the people in this chat are spamming W or L because they're bots. Not a lot of real people are watching this guy. Or Sneeko, for that matter. Um, Andrew had hit me up. He said, hey, I'm going to be uh, leaving Romania soon and probably never coming back. If you want to come over and do a week of long streams and content before I leave, I think it'll be big, and it's never, it's, I'm sorry, he said it. I, I feel like they got, okay. I know Aiden Ross, Sneeko, all these people, they're pretty dumb, but they are also extremely successful, and that requires some level of self-awareness, right? Um, I, I, okay. I think a good example of this is Boris Johnson, and how his method for evading serious criticism was to be, pretend to be goofy pretty much i feel like that's kind of what these guys do particularly aiden ross where he pretends to be dumb and goofy to almost disarm people and make it feel as though they're kind of they're going too far if they take him seriously and try to seriously criticize him it's not it's basically not <sighs> um so you know, and, you know, and, and this is just, I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Up, I did up. I ordered that really wrong. And as somebody who's on live 24 seven, bro, up a lot. Okay. I really up a lot. I'm a really dumb individual. I'm yeah, very okay. stupid. I told Wait, you guys. I swear I have not watched this video before I went live. I, I swear to God, I did not. The timing of me making that point and then him going on to say like, Guys, you can't really get mad at me. I'm, I'm just kind of a dumb guy. I'm just a little guy. Dog. I, I swear I didn't pre-watch this. I swear I did not pre-watch this. I swear I did not pre-watch this. Gee, did you see how quickly bro just made my argument for me? <sighs> um, so, you know, and, you know, and, and this is just, I told you guys this year, you know, it's a week of content, right? Up, I did. Up. I ordered that really wrong, and as somebody who's on live 24-7, bro, f***ed up a lot, okay? I really f***ed up a lot. I'm a really dumb individual. I'm very stupid. I told you guys that I think I'm, I'm autistic in some ways. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Dude, he he's like Boris Johnson. I it's It really is. He's using the Boris Johnson strat. He kind of looks like you, Zan. Unfortunately, that's the consequence of my hair being long. Uh, like, anybody with hair like me and Aiden Ross should never let it get as long as me and Aiden Ross have our hair. Um, I, I genuinely, like, I'm at the point now where I'm, like, constantly having to brush my hair out of my eyes. Because they, like, my hair comes down, like, bits of it, and then it, like, pokes me in the eye. It's really unfortunate. I really hate my hair being this long. And I, I hate it when other people that have this hair let it get this long. I desperately need a haircut. And... I would never do this purposely with intent, right? I speak to Andrew, we're cool. 
And I told you, he's part of the reason why I lost 25 pounds, right? And I'm actually in shape. So up. I apologize to Andrew, and I'm really sorry to everyone else, um, his team and everything. But Andrew said it's okay. Come down to Romania, and let's do some streams. So if you guys would like that, put a W in it's so embarrassing how these dudes just admit to the internet that they had to find some random guy online to be their father figure. You know? Like, oh, I wouldn't, I would never have worked out and gotten, you know, fit if it weren't for this random guy on the internet that I moved across the world to fucking live next door to or whatever. Like, that. that's literally what Aiden Ross did, by the way. The dude literally moved to Romania to make content with Andrew Tate. Like, his family misses him and shit, and he misses his family, he said as much on clips and stuff like that, but he literally moved to please Andrew Tate. He moved to Romania. No, Mr. Inedible, he moved to Romania to be close to Andrew Tate. He Guys, if you're wondering how parasocial this guy is for Tate... Really All right, this is right after Andrew Tate like got up and walked away like not playing around this time I'm 22 You know what I mean? And, and, and it took me a while to understand that and, and, and you know it did And I, I just want to say bro, I, I think I'm ready bro He's looking down at something else. That makes me think he thought there w that this camera wasn't on and that nobody could see him and he was just off camera when he did that. But, uh, yeah. I feel like it has more impact when you see Andrew Tate get up from the chair. Hold on. Work is complete. Let's watch the full version. It has more impact when Andrew Tate gets up and walks out of from the chair. And he's wearing, like, a robe. You can tell it's bear cock and ass. Like, bear cock, balls, and asshole straight onto that chair cushion. Like, like look at what he's wearing. You know that's the case. Congratulations. You know this? I have work to do. I'm done. He I'm gets up. Okay, maybe not. He gets up and fucking ditches him. Where are you going? Andrew Tate will, like, alpha this dude down and make him look like a beta pussy. In order to like, just so he, he's sort of like Andrew Tate's Rowley, if that makes sense. And and Aiden Ross is like fully like oblivious to the fact that Andrew Tate does not give a fuck about him, like thinks very little of him. You know for a fact he does. You know what I mean? Like Andrew Tate is if Greg Heffley actually ended up being like rich and famous, like he dreams of being. There he goes. Look at that. Look at that. And I, I... Yeah, he looks around before he does it, too. It's it's just the perfect image, you know? It's like the perfect imagery. You know, the, the clip genuinely could not be more perfect. Like, he couldn't try to make it more perfect than that. Man, it's always crazy seeing people come into the uh, YouTube stream when like the stream's title is live on twitch and then the title and they're saying it's just been this on youtube lately it seemed for the last days i don't know why it's just this screen i bet so i just leave it's like I, man youtube chatters are really a special breed aren't they i just want to say bro i i think i'm ready bro <laughs> <laughs> fucking hilarious fucking hilarious Dude's an actual chair sniffer for Andrew Tate. In the chat, if you would like me to go to uh, Romania and do some streams with Andrew and Tristan, and, and, you know, it'd be great. I think it'd be great. Um, I'll go down there. It'll be really, really cool. More interesting now, right? <laughs> that was not funny. Um, and I'm sorry. And I, and, and, and publicly. I'm Wait, I forgot. I'm, I'm covering up his chat now. Okay. You want to see how not botted his chat is? 
How many people from this list of scrolling W's do you think are going to be real people? Um, and I'm sorry, and I, and, and and publicly, I'm apologizing. I already public, I already privately apologized to Andrew and his team, right? And uh, I feel really bad about the situation, and uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I'll take people with me. I'm gonna ask Jake if he wants to come. I, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some people with me to Romania, and we're gonna go down there, okay? And oh, again, is, guys, I don't know why I worded like this. It came out bad, and I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to to do that. And I, and I, and I feel really, really bad. I, you know, I, I really do apologize. I'm up, and I, and I, I'm gonna continue to up and continue to learn from it. And I'm sorry. All right, sorry. Um, but yeah, like actual YouTuber apology too. He, he unironic. To, to be fair though, that actually comes off as at least verbally. I know. Y y Honestly, that actually is the most genuine apology I've seen from a content creator. Like, I think he actually means it, and he just fully owns up to it and says, I, I, I fucked up, I really fucked up, and I'm sorry. There was obviously the oh, I'm dumb, I'm dumb stuff because he tries to disarm people of, with his low intelligence, but um, uh, like he actually does seem genuinely sorry, and I, I believe this is actually one of the most genuine apologies I've seen from an online content creator like it, it i genuinely think he's he feels really bad because he worships andrew tate and he really does he is sorry <laughs> playing the victim card dude even his own fans are calling him out though the people who aren't spamming w are all saying are, are all calling him out and like you can tell it's the people who aren't saying W that are the real people, and those messages come in, like, at a rate that, like, maybe a 2,000, 3,000 viewer chat would. Uh, I guess you can kind of pick out who isn't a bot from there. All right. Yeah. All right, today's going to be a very fast-paced stream. Um, We now have to get in a space with... That's for Aiden Ross, my nigga. Aiden, I really, really try to fuck with you, bro. But I just went back and watched the backstory behind Andrew Tate arrest. And the whole time, he got arrested because of your nigga. Red ass nigga. This, remember, by the way, this guy is uh, pro sex trafficking. Not just that, but Andrew Tate got, like, is currently being charged with, like, sex trafficking minors. Like, underage girls, too. So this guy is just mad that Aiden Ross got Andrew Tate caught. You gotta understand that at this point, the red pill sphere are the pro-rape movement at this point. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Their entire, like, everything is centered around trying to normalize and uh, normalize rape and fight against justice being brought, brought about for it. Whether it be minors, whether it be full-on organized sex trafficking like Andrew Tate was engaging in, they are just unironically through and through pro rape in in the red pill sphere at this point and they aren't really like they wouldn't even find it like problematic for me to have said that i feel like i think if i went on most red pill podcasts they would argue that like rape is some sort of natural thing for men to do and uh in a good world women would just accept it or something like that that, that I guarantee you red pill types would actually argue that and not even try to hide that's what they believe in many cases because they've gotten a lot more brazen with their rhetoric over the years. And uh, at, like in the last year especially, they a lot of them are just outright pro-marital rape. And they say it's not rape if you get married because that somehow acts as like a forever consent certificate. They'll just outright say that's what they believe. Many Republicans, just in general, will outright, outright say that's what they believe. Red, nigga. He got I, arrested because your bitch ass talking about he finna leave where man. Boy, you's a fucking red. No, I, I don't respect that red ass shit. I know, I'm... Red, nigga. Bitch ass boy. I can't wait to see what you got to say on stream about this shit. Nigga, you's a fucking red. I, that nigga should not with your red ass no more. Boy, you a red, nigga. Snitch Ross, nigga. Snitch Ross, you a fuck. Guys, and again, you don't have to really, you know, call me Snitch Ross. He's so mad that Aiden Ross helped justice be brought about for sex trafficking victims, many of them minors. He's so, he's so upset about it. Like, this guy is unironically a worse human being, I think, than Aiden Ross on a certain level. This guy is upset that Andrew Tate is getting caught for sex trafficking minors. I, I didn't that mean guy? to do Just that. Some guy I worded it really wrong. Up. Um, and you know, it is what it is, right? And 
I just feel like if Andrew doesn't give up and he's still inviting me out to Romania, y'all shouldn't either. Unless it's a trap and Andrew wants me to come to Romania to basically spar me and beat the shit out of me. Hey, I I'll take so. an ass beating. Just, you know, I feel Red, oh my nigga. god, I'm, I'm not he's such a pussy. He's such a little beta cuck. I'll take an ass beat. What the fuck? Who says that? Who genuinely worships another man that much? What grown man worships another man that much? They'd be like, yeah, I'd take my ass beating. Like, what the fuck? The dude belongs in jail. How is Andrew Tate not in jail? The Well, for one, I think he is right now. The investigation is so massive. They've got like dozens upon dozens of victims. They're all going to hit him with it at once. So it's sort of like there's some time it's going to happen, you know? Think about it like this. Um, FPS Russia went to prison for having weed illegally in um, Georgia because weed isn't legal there, and he also had a ton of guns. So having illegal weed and guns combined is like, on its own, it's a pretty big deal, but for FPS Russia, they made it a really big deal. And that whole process, before he even spent time in jail, was years, years of him having, like, going to court, lawyer stuff, it, years of that. And then eventually he got his sentence, and it was like, in th on this date, you will be going to prison. And then he went to prison. So, like, there's going to be jail time served, there's going to be years of court stuff, uh, and, and set up for court stuff, and then he's going to go. I genuinely think we might see, like, big developments maybe next year. 2026 at the earliest, though, is, is when we'll see, like, big developments in this case. And, that I mean, he might not even be relevant by then, but his fans will say, ah, he's totally been exonerated the whole time. And then two years later, they're going to get hit with the news that Andrew Tate has been uh, sentenced to, like, 40 years or something in prison and he's there now he's gone there's no like and and they're just gonna have to grapple with that reality not a rat though you know um what what's the yes jewel situation what happened with yes jewels what yeah what happened to yes jewels i missed a lot oh my god john Miller, you're so quick is he not talking about it anymore? Yeah, he cut her off. I genuinely don't believe anybody watches this shit. How is it's so boring? Who the fuck watches this stuff? I know nobody actually watches it, but I I can't stop asking myself that because I know these people have prominence, but they're also so boring. Like they're not really they allow a lot of dead air. They're not really entertaining. They're really dumb. There's no enriching aspect of the stream. Not really pro like pleasant to listen to. Have I seen Oompaville's coverage on Ian Miles Chong? No, I haven't. I should check it out, though. What's happening with your streams? It's not appearing on YouTube. You are not a member of my Discord, clearly. Join my Discord and read the announcements. You can find out. We've been having problems with OBS, and YouTube punishes you severely for making too many streams in the same day. So every time OBS crashes, and it's multiple times in a row, I, um... I really risk getting a strike, which is catastrophic for your channel. So I had to just stop attempting to stream on YouTube until I've guaranteed fix this problem with OBS. But in the meantime, I just schedule a stream that says live on Twitch. And then the title. And for some reason, a lot of YouTube chatters cannot read. So they, they see the live on Twitch, or they don't see the live on Twitch somehow. And they ask in chat, what, why isn't he live? Where is he live? It's like, read the first three words of the title. Fix your shit, Zan? I mean, I've been trying to for weeks. Or honestly, months now I've been trying to. The problem gets worse with every solution, though. Funnily enough. I thought I'd actually fixed it. Like, really, I thought I'd fixed it um, last stream. And uh, I went live today on YouTube, and I had three crashes in a row, and it instantly locked itself at zero kilobits per second upload. And, and obviously crashed instantly. So, um, yeah. The OBS is dying. It's not OBS, it's my PC. My PC hardware is dying. So the pick, fix my shit, how about you you pay me, Princess Source, so I can buy new hardware. It's not as simple as fixing my shit. I have to spend money on new stuff. Some people watch Hassan, and he's basically the left version of Aiden Ross. That is true. There's always been a lot of support for the lowest common denominator in content. Um, well, so am I, Princess Source, so don't out of touchably tell me to fix my shit it's hard it's a hardware problem 
What do you think? I'm rich. I do feel like I, I have had people comment and reply to my posts before. Acting as though they think I'm rich. Like I like I, acting as though they think I make a bunch of money off of YouTube. And it's like, no, I'm a small creator. I'm I'm basically living paycheck to paycheck just like you. I mean, I have, you know, a much better quality of, of like work life because I, I do YouTube and I get to make my own schedule. But as far as pay, I you know, I'm I'm not much ahead of you guys. Many of you guys might probably make more than me. Rip YouTube. It's not YouTube. It's my PC. There's not like there. There's a like Twitch doesn't stop the problem. Twitch just has better streaming stuff. Basically, I'm able to uh, like just hit go live and I go live. So if the stream crashes, I can just restart OBS and go live. With YouTube, it's a nightmare. Like a 10 minute setup nightmare just to start a new stream every time. And I risk a strike Why? every time. You see. They pretend that they're serious. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. I'll tell you what would happen if I were a serious criminal under a serious investigation. And by serious, I mean real. Oh my god. I would have been. I am out of. Trialed. You get a trial, Andrew. Oh, you get a trial? Yeah, no. So what happens is they obviously arrest you and they have lots of evidence on you. And then you get a trial and then they found you guilty and then you go to jail. And you stay in jail to serve your sentence. Okay. So. What okay, wait. Am I safe to go to Armenia? Yes or no? Because I was just going to go out because I wanted to do some shit with them. And now, obviously, now because of I got them kind of basically in a situation, I, am I. Happened to. No? Why? For those of you who don't know the story, is we got jail first. Okay. Okay. The search for evidence afterwards. Okay. Then charges. How safe is it one? Evidence is Wait, no. How dangerous is it one through ten? Be actually honest. Being dismissed. So if there's a trial, there's no evidence. Oh, but nice. It's a ten. We've been in some form of arrest for the entire huh. period. And do you guys even give up that I'm going to be in danger? No, you don't. We've served a lot. Wait, where is this going now? Okay, so is he mad at the Tate brothers now? Is he is he mad at them now? Is he flipped? What's happened now? No, Crazy Jack 278. It's uh it's engagement bait. It's trying to bait me into uh drama. Sounds like an exact clone. Tristan is just Andrew with hair. Well, I mean they're brothers. Obviously they sound very similar and look very similar. That's how brothers tend to work. Many, I, aren't they twins? No, no, because Tristan Tate is younger. That doesn't work. I mean, that you know what I mean. Tate has never heard of detaining. Well, like, I don't think they're still being held, are they? I think they just got, like, detained and held for, like, a short time and questioned because they admitted to planning to leave the country. To flee charges long sentence and that, that's what happens when you don't have a serious criminal investigation and yesterday's arrest because i know a lot of people are curious about this i'm going to summarize guys guys it, war penguin for that same amount you could have gotten rid of all the twitch ads if you uh sub through twitch but i do appreciate it oh my god exactly what happened Tristan, and why please. it happened this is not the fault of romania oh this is not this one is not. Who's the fault? This came straight from the United Kingdom, my home country. My United Kingdom contacted the Romanians with no intention of extraditing me, with no intention of flying me to England to We're good. Face it was the questioning of We're good, chat. They contacted Romania and told Romania to do its dirty work. They told Romania was to do their bidding to put these two do their dirty work dog it's the government and the law that you broke there's no dirty work there's no skeevy like illegal stuff going on they are the law you broke the law and you're being charged obviously i don't need to argue with this will there still be vods i don't like this a lot there are people in youtube chat still complaining about the crashes i the the nerve of these people to complain when i've been the one desperately trying to fix them and my livelihood is what's threatened by them and they just they they ah oh, it's so upsetting that i have to jump over to another platform 
two boys God. in jail without a trial. I'm going to explain to you how this works. So blame KSI, not me. What the fuck? Bro, blame KSI. Do not. I, do I look. Do, am I from the UK? What? Am I from the country? Okay, he's doing a bit here, right? He has to be. He just listed a British YouTuber. And so, so blame KSI because he's a British YouTuber? He's doing a bit here, right? He's not obvi He's obviously not that dumb. He's pretending to be that dumb. Country no, bro. Blame KSI. Stop blaming me then, chat. Romania has a system called preventative detention. If you're a suspe suspect of a crime, they could put you in jail before you get a chance to explain yourself in court. That's why me and my brother did three months in jail last year. England doesn't have this. If I had been extradited to England, I would have went there, they would have questioned me for a few hours, and I would have been completely free. Lived my life in England. Perfectly Bail. fine. Bail. Wouldn't even need to come back to Romania. The judge said, do you, Tristan Tate, want to be extradited to England? I said, no. I want to stay here and clear my... And you guys live in England? And <laughs> no, I do not want to be extradited to England. I want to stay here and clear my name. So this is absolutely bullshit. You can literally, like, we literally watched the news report about this yesterday. And what actually happened was the uh, UK is, there are three, five women, I believe, working with a UK-based law firm to press charges against Andrew, T their civil charges against Andrew Tate for sexual assault and rape. And uh, Romania has now agreed that they are going to, it's not a matter of choice. You don't, they don't ask you, do you want to be extradited and charged? in our country or would you rather stay there and not have to deal with the charge they don't ask you if you want to be extradited and charged that's not how the, the cops don't ask you if you want to be arrested and charged with a crime this is a fantasy world these people tell their fans that don't have any real life experience uh or are just ignorant enough to fall for whatever bullshit they're spewing um reminder these are the same types of people who give who somehow say biden is at fault for Andrew Tate and, and Tristan Tate be getting these charges in Romania. These are, they are desperate, they are desperately taking advantage of the stupidity of their fans and the lack of understanding they have of, of any court system. Would you like to get arrested? No, officer. Well, you just have a good day then. Exactly, War Penguin. That's what they think goes down. Um, and the fact is, the, what's actually going to happen is once the, uh, charges are all set up and, and he's gone to court in Romania. They are going to extradite him to the UK where he is going to be charged there and go to court there. He will come back to Romania and serve time and then he will end up going to the UK and serving time. Assuming he's found guilty for everything there and he is guilty for all these things, allegedly. Um, so yeah. Like, if you, if you, I have kept up on the trial. I think one of the best YouTubers as far as, like, keeping up with it and getting all the info together has been Willie Mac Show, and it's bad for the Tate brothers. They are very good at bluffing and sort of playing it cool, but behind the scenes, they are so, so fucked. And, like, a, a year ago, they were really fucked in a bad place. They are multiple times more fucked now than they were back when I did my initial coverage of the situation. That was before there were charges against minors. Uh, uh, like, like, charges for crimes against minors that had come up. That, that, those are, that's a newer detail. Is, that true? Is, it, is it true, like, England has weird laws or not? Name. But what the, what the UK were really trying to do was not to get me extradited and face questioning and be free in England. Damn. They were saying, look, Romania... He's a dangerous criminal because we allege he did something to somebody in 2012. I don't even know who I allegedly did anything to. There's no name on the paper. No name. Please oh, thank you, brother. You were right there. Please understand. A warrant came through saying in 20... Reminder, by the way, if there was a name on the paper, they would say the woman is doing it for clout. So th there's no... Th every way that it could have gone would be evidence that they're innocent. Right, like, woman makes her name public, she gets called a clout chaser. She makes her name anonymous. She's not even real. It's super fishy that she's anonymous, right? Um, that it, it, Either way, it would be bullshit, and, and it would be evidence that the charges they have are bullshit. No, not that. It was more specific than that. It said Tristan committed acts of sexual violence. Dude, okay, see, guys, it wasn't really me then. So am I to blame? 
they were able to take action when they did because of the fact that he said publicly that the Tates were planning to leave the country. That has already been confirmed by the investigators in the UK, I believe it was. So, um, I, I mean, listen, th these guys are pretty low IQ. They're not. They're not exactly. Uh, they're not exactly searching for the best of sources on this stuff. It really is going to be funny to watch the fan bases, these people who've been fooled into believing they're going to get away scot-free, to be hit harshly with the speeding bullet train of reality that is the future decades in prison that these guys are going to face. Like, there's just going to be a day where they find out the Tate brothers have been sentenced to insert amount of decades in prison... Uh, they are now currently in transportation, and there's no more Andrew Tate podcast. There's no no. There's no more new Andrew Tate shorts or clips or videos or streams. He's just gone out of the blue. He convinces everybody up till the moment he goes to prison that he has gotten away with it. He is innocent, and that he was an innocent man, and he's now fully exonerated because that's where he, like the lie he'll have to tell to convince his fans, and then they'll be blindsided out of nowhere. And there'll be no denying it when Andrew Tate's just gone and in prison. Maybe they'll try to claim he's been murdered or something, but um, th they're going to be hit with the speeding bullet train of reality soon enough, and it's going to be really funny when it does happen, because there's no argument you can make against the fact that the dudes in prison will be there for decades and isn't making any new content anytime soon. It's going to be really funny. You think actual prison will convince them? Well, they're going to have a hard time when there's no new Andrew Tate content coming out, or any Tate content coming out, besides recycled clips.